Tom. This is Kevin Deal from Upscale Distribution, and we're the importer distributor for Tannoy in North America. And I'm so excited to have the people from the factory located in Scotland to come here and talk about this new speaker, the Sterling. Well, how do you like to call it there? So we call this the Tannoy Sterling Triple LZ Special Edition. Um, which is Can a bit you of a mouthful. That's slower so that Americans That's why. understand <laughs> yeah, the so. Scottish accent. We've, we've basically taken homage to the original Triple LZ based from the 1967 era, um, and we've taken the Sterling cabinet, um, which our uh, Asian Pacific friends. Uh, do really well with as a product solution. Um, they uh, have smaller homes but want the bigger, grander sort of size uh, performance of a speaker. So we've taken a lot of the technology from the Kensington model. Um, so they share, they share the same uh, Alnico uh, system, which uses the pepper pot. And that's the magnet system that's, that's correct. within the main driver. Yeah, that's correct. So we're using the dual concentric with the Alnico pepper pot system. Um, which is shared with the Kensington model, which is a couple of models up from this. Uh, and for those that don't know, yeah. Alnico is voodoo. I mean, truly. <laughs> I mean, it is magic. It is voodoo for the people that know about it. This model was being made for the Asian Pacific market originally when they were designing it because there's such a desire for it yeah. in that part of the world. And I saw it when I was at the factory in Scotland, and I just said, we've got to have it for the United States. I knew that this would be a hot seller and it is absolutely amazing. When I heard it over there, I went bonkers and it's all being made. That cabinet is being made at the same cabinet in Europe where they have been made for decades. And then this is a Kensington driver, call it a, a mini Kensington in a way. Yeah, for sure, I'm happy to call it that, definitely. Um, because it's a dual concentric driver, does that mean that the Elnico magnet is used for Elnico is used for both the tweeter and the I'll call it the woofer? Yeah, frequency? so all using the same motor system in that yeah. respect. Yeah, definitely. Okay, so you get the yeah. the magnetic characteristics of Elnico either for yeah. for both ends, and that's harmonious. That's and, correct. Yeah, so they run so. off the same axis in uh, axis in that respect. Yeah, mm -hmm. for sure. So we've uh, we've. Um, taken a lot of care and attention into the porting system as well. So one of the characteristics of the Alnico, it obviously has got a lot more energy than what this cabinet could potentially uh, take. So we've had to change the airflow uh, construction on this model. Um, and that took a lot of time uh, and attention for this size product. And are these actually the ports? Yeah, so this is the porting system here. So on the standard Sterling, they run from top to bottom. We've, uh, we've basically had to mill out the actual uh, cabinet here so that the extra energy that was sat idle in the cabinet is dissipated uh, a lot better and a lot faster. So yeah, we're re really excited to launch this product. Um, and can you give us a, a US price point? Yeah, Maybe. so we're, we're looking at uh, $12,500 for a pair. Okay. Yeah. And um, the height, just because we're talking about the packaging, and that's very important. For sure. Um, that's something I don't know off the top of my head. So I know. would guess it at about uh, 37 inches as a guess. I yeah. don't have that off the top of my head, but I think that's a pretty good guess. So they fit beautifully into small spots. I mean, absolutely beautiful. But the beauty of a tannoy and the beauty of a dual concentric driver that they do, and they're the only ones that do it this way, is that they are so easy to place into yeah. bad rooms. They're absolutely... Oh, and is there any particular reason for that? I mean, that's a great thing. Well, especially I'm, if you're dealing with a smaller room, smaller rooms are tricky. Yeah, yeah, for sure. So that's down to a lot of the technology that's featured in the pepper pot, the way that it's able to distribute that uh, energy flow. Um, and also for the room placement side of things, we've been using this technology for a long time. We use the switching panel, so we've got the ability to change the energy uh, on the crossover for the treble, and we've also mm -hmm. got the roll-off on the bottom row there as well. 
So that helps with the room positioning as well. Right. Okay, so you can control overall level of the treble energy yeah, sure. and the slope. Yeah. And the roll-off, and that's really important, especially for people that have sensitive ears or tinnitus, yeah. older people, but also younger people or females. Females have very sensitive ears, right? They have better high-frequency response yeah. Than, yeah. Yeah, than, than men do. Oh, and I and see so, you have an interesting thing here that... It looks like you can go down or up. Yeah, so Correct. we give you the ability. So for out of the box, it's set to level, which is kind of where we feel is the best performance that the speaker can give. But depending on the, the end users uh, here, and as Kevin's mentioned, you've got the ability to go up or down on both. Yeah. And then one more thing that's probably generic to Tanoi, but I hadn't really thought about it until I just happened to stand right there and look. Okay. The, the tweeter looks like a horn. Right. Is, is it loaded? It's not loaded, no. So some of the topper models, uh, the ranging from the Canterbury Westminster up, they use a horn loading facility. So no, it's the way that it's mounted into the system. Uh, it's effectively the, the throat of the uh, high frequency is sat just in front of the uh, low frequency drive uh, section. Um, so it's effectively all coming out at the same axis point. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. So just something on the um, the actual overall performance of the speaker, and this is something that we're really proud of. We're obviously manufacturing uh, all of the Prestige line and the Legacy line uh, here in the uh, the UK and uh, Hamilton, Scotland. That's something that we're really proud of mm -hmm. uh, the history that we've got. So we're um, due to be a hundred years old and in, in uh, 2026. And at the same time, we'll also have the anniversary of manufacturing in Scotland as well. So that'll be a 50 year anniversary. Just a brief interruption, esteemed viewers. As you may know, I'm Tom Martin, Chief Content Officer of The Absolute Sound. We have a new product. It's on the Substack platform. And we're going to do some interesting things with Substack. First of which is reader questions and answers. Each Monday, Readers will submit questions, we'll pick the most interesting ones, and we'll answer the questions on Friday. We'll also have early access to articles and special blogs that don't appear anywhere else. We hope you'll join us. It's only a cost of a cup of coffee per month. Just check on the screen or in the show notes below. Thanks, and now back to the show. You'd have to be there to understand, when I was at the factory in Scotland, there was a tour bus from Japan there. Yeah. I, I was shocked to see all these people rolling off of a bus because for people, in, I mean, they may work all their lives to buy a pair of Westminsters or Canterbury's. I mean, it's what people aspire to. And that's why this is, this is one of the very few brands. And there's another one. I mean, maybe some old Altex, but Tannoy's, an old Tannoy driver from the 1960s, just for a driver, is going to be worth upwards of five thousand dollars for one. Go to eBay yeah. and you'll see. Look up a Tannoy red. I, right now, I'm negotiating to buy some Tannoys from the 1960s that I found, and uh, I, I will pay dearly for them because I love them that much. Yeah, I, it, as as it happens, I just had a discussion with a guy who's rebuilding a pair of Voice of the Theaters oh, wow. and is trying to source compression drivers. Because you have to do retrofits of yeah, a sure. lot of those yeah. parts, especially where the diaphragms, you know, surrounds and stuff like that are just, they don't last forever. Yeah, for sure. And Altec is another one of those old brands that have got a following that makes the parts just so valuable. But there is no real Altec to buy today. Today well, you can buy a Tannoy. Do these and some of the other tannoys have the characteristic that I have always associated with uh, an Asian preference, but it's actually really useful in uh, European and American domestic settings too, which is that they work at low levels. Yeah, for sure. I'd they say sound dynamic at low levels. It's a weird thing they to breathe. explain. Yeah. I'd yeah. say that the voice yeah. in uh, for tannoy, we use the same sonic signature across the whole portfolio. So. We obviously the Westminster is our flagship, and we trickle that technology and that sound performance down through the ranges. Um, but the biggest benefit you've mentioned already is we use the compression driver system at the back of the uh, motor, and that's pushing a lot of air, and that that gives you the real dynamic uh, range of a tannoy speaker, the most natural performance you can get. Yeah. Excellent. Yeah. 
Well, that's exciting. Yeah. I, I, I like the size. I hope you can proportion it with us somehow, Charles. Yep, I got it, it. It's half a human. Yeah. It is. You can put that in the spec sheet. Yeah, for sure. I do actually have the spec here if you need to edit that back oh, in. Oh, okay. So can, uh, yeah, cool. Yeah, so um, we're looking uh, height-wise, we're 33.7 inches. So, okay. yeah, Kevin was pretty okay. spot on with that. Yeah. And depth? Uh, so the depth, you're looking 14.5 uh, inches. Yeah. Okay, and that's yeah. about the width, too? Yeah, pretty so much, it's, yeah. It's pretty it's square. Not, it's pretty square in that mm -hmm. respect, yeah. It's, it's not a small box, but it's compact in mm -hmm. its front panel, which is kind of a nice combo. Yeah, uh -huh. for sure. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. All and right. they're built to last a lifetime, really. Yeah, the fact that you're using uh, a lot of differential materials in the wood uh, aspect, you've got real wood uh, on the outside there, pretty much built to be like a piece of furniture in the living room. So not just a, a nice piece of audio performance, you're getting a, something that's going to last in your home a long time. Um, and you, something that's not seen here as well, you've, we've got the oatmeal the grill. grill. So we're using the same oatmeal. Uh, no, we don't have it here. Okay. It's in the other okay. room. Yeah. The, the grills are... But the, the, the classic tonoid grill. Oh. Yeah, which is the same as what the original Triple LZ system used. So we've we've kept the heritage in that respect. So even though we've gone from a different style cabinet, we've still used a lot of the original homage to the Triple LZ. Thank you, guys. All right. Yeah, thank That's you. Awesome. No worries, thank you.